So I got a really big surprise last night. Uh, Devin called me and he told me some pretty, I think it's awesome news, but it's still very up in the air. <music> Good morning guys. Look, I had to sleep in long sleeves last night and turn on my heat because it was so cold last night. Anyway, today's not going to be that busy. Uh, Carly has an OT appointment because she has some mild sensory issues I was concerned about. Uh, Carly, anytime she does any kind of new thing, she freaks out. Like, really good example. We took her to Kosai back in May and most kids would love Kosai. You know, it's very kid-friendly and interactive, and most kids would just go nuts loving that place. And Carly freaked out over pretty much everything. So I was like, okay, that's not normal. Uh, but I don't know if it's, like, really a sensory issue or if it's just her personality, because I was a really scared, timid kid myself when I was her age. So I just, I don't know. Like, how do you differentiate that? How do you differentiate between her personality and an actual like sensory problem because she freaks out over any kind of sensory thing like if you saw one of my day in the life vlogs I think it was my last one um, she was finger painting and every time she got paint on her finger she had to wipe it off so I, I don't know maybe she does have issues with things being on her hands and stuff but anyway she has an OT appointment today and Lisa's coming to work with her of course, I can't film that because they don't like being on camera, but that's pretty much the only thing that we have going on today, and I'm really thankful because today and tomorrow are going to be like really lazy, not doing much days, but Wednesday is going to be insane busy, and yes, surprise, surprise, I am going to do another day in the life vlog on Wednesday, so you guys will be there whenever I go to my anatomy scan, but... You guys just won't know what we're having. But anyway, I'm going to go get the girls up. It's about 9.45 right now, and we're going to start our day. Oh, side note, I totally forgot. Uh, the baby moved yesterday, like really moved, like an actual like movement. If you follow me on social media, I posted it everywhere. But if you don't follow me on social media, I will just show you guys a clip of it now before I go get the girls. I hear my kids. TMI moment, so if you don't want to see, I totally understand. Just fast forward the next few minutes. Few minutes. Just fast forward the next couple seconds. But that's what my bleeding's been like lately. It's just been really dark brown, really dark red. So I'm hoping that's like a sign of healing. Oh, I see diaper. There's Carly. Good morning. You took your diaper off already? Oh, I hope you didn't pee my bed. Oh, wait. Hey, I'll get I'll get it. That's yuckies. Yes, that's yuckies. You didn't pee the bed, did you? I don't see any wet spots. Okay. Well, good morning. Good morning. You ready to start the day and have some breakfast? And we gotta change your fluff butt. Yes, we do. We gotta change your booty. Lately, I've been cloth diapering Kenley because I just, I hate paying for disposables. <laughs> I really do. So this week I am cloth diapering Kenley. I love the cloth diapers with the Velcro. They're just so much easier. <laughs> Hi, baby. Are you ready to eat? Somebody really wants to help mommy with breakfast this morning. She's been all over this kitchen wanting to help me some way. So, with wow. my... Wow! Wow! That's crazy. Don't touch. You use spatulas. You don't touch with hands. No. 
Don't touch. No. You don't want to do it anymore? Okay. okay. Hey, hey, thank you for putting the English muffins on the plate for me. That was very nice. But we have to put them in the toaster. And Kenley's just hungry. Here's a great example of mom life right here. A certain toddler of mine, I won't say names, but a certain toddler of mine decided to sneak behind my back as I was making eggs and steal bites of English muffin before I could put them in the toaster. So, I gave her to see the whole pieces over there. It's See. Gave her to see the whole pieces and mommy gets the bitten off pieces. Oh well. She wanted to sit beside mommy. She said, move please and everything so that she could sit beside me. I think I forgot to mention this in my last pregnancy vlog, but the nausea is back. I got about halfway through breakfast and it kind of hit me. So I'm going to wait for my stomach to settle a little bit and hopefully it'll pass so I can eat the rest of what I made. <laughs> Even though I feel sicker than a dog right now, I'm going to show you guys how I make my chicken enchilada stuff. My chicken is de-thawing because I'm a big dummy and I totally forgot to um, uh, set it out last night so my chicken's in there. And somebody is feeling very gr grumpy today because she's cutting her one-year-old molars. So she's not a happy girl. But she loves that dog for some reason all of a sudden. This isn't like traditional enchiladas where you put them in a tortilla and roll them up or anything like that. Uh, it's kind of like deconstructed. But first I do the rice. Oh, okay. I guess I'm going to use all my rice. Alright. I just coat the bottom. I might need like a little bit more than that. So that's about a cup and a half. So there's that. And then I kind of dump everything else. I dump the beans. Corn. Petite diced tomatoes. And this is about half of a chopped sweet onion. You can use a whole one. Uh, just it really depends on what, how much onion you like in yours. I'm not a huge onion person. So I do half. And now I have to wait on my chicken. And I'll put my chicken in here and do the rest. Okay, I have my chicken in the crock pot. And now I'm just going to coat it. And taco seasoning, yummy, yummy. Just like that. Lots of taco seasoning. And one can of the enchilada sauce. That goes on top as well. Yum. Get my lid. And it's plugged in. Yes, it's plugged in. I'm going to put it on high. I'm going to put it on high for six hours. At some point, I'm going to come back and shred my chicken. Where did your sister go while I was making dinner? Is she in here? That's not your pacifier. That's not yours. What are you laying down for? You're going night night? Yeah. <laughs> you just got up like two hours ago. You don't care? Night night. Night night. Okay. okay. The one thing that Kenley has on right now is too small. Might be because of her cloth diaper. But I'm going to put her in this. It's an 18 month onesie. Kenley, let's go get changed. Thanks to cloth diapers, this onesie fits. Doesn't it? It fits, Mommy. You gonna get on it? Probably not. 
most likely not. Hey, do you want to practice pulling yourself up? She's like, no. <laughs> Well, hey, you need to. Yes, you need to practice. She doesn't care. Ready? Ready? Good girl. Put your foot down. Foot down. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good job. Good job. Carly's OT is going to be here in like an hour, so I'm just going to see you guys then. It's about 1.30 and somebody's sleepy. Somebody's sleepy. I know, sugar. Let's go to sleep, okay? It's about 2.30. Carly had her lunch. We had some grapes. I had leftover dinner and she... Okay, she must have put away her Lunchable. But that's what we had, and it's time for someone's nap time. Nap time. Nap time. Nap time. So the girls are down for their nap, and I'm really sorry for the lighting in here, you guys. It's so cloudy outside because it's going to rain. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. I love rainy days. I really do. But when I'm vlogging and I need the natural light, <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> but anyway, so I got a really big surprise last night. Uh, Devin called me. And he told me some pretty, I think it's awesome news, but it's still very up in the air. He called me and he goes, hey, uh, what do you think about moving? And I was like, we're already moving, babe. <laughs> we're moving next year. And he's like, no, no, no. How about like really soon? Like within the next couple months. Okay, what are you talking about? He's like, I have a friend through my work. And he has a house. It's kind of a drive from here. It's actually about an hour and 15 minutes from my hometown. He's like, it's down there, but there's a bunch of upsides. It's a three bedroom house, two stories. And it sits on an acre and a half. And the rent is half what we're paying now. And my jaw dropped. I'm not gonna tell you guys like exactly what the money is because that's our financial business. And I really don't wanna put my financial business out there. But at the same time, I kinda want you guys to know what's going on. But the um, rent is half of what we're paying right now, and it's a three-bedroom house. And I was like, okay, this sounds a little bit too good to be true. What's the catch? And he goes, well, the only catch is the house is a little bit of a fixer-upper. But with rent being as low as it is, like, <laughs> surely we can work around that. And I was like, heck yeah, we can work around that. <laughs> I was like, that is really low to be paying for rent for a three-bedroom house. I said, I'll take it. The other catch is there are people living in it right now. And Devin's friend through his work, he does not like his tenants at all. They're just not good tenants. They're not honest with them and um, they don't work and they're just really lazy people. And he's like, listen, I'm, I really want my tenants to move out, but I just don't know when that's gonna happen. So whenever this house is available, I'm giving you a call. And Devin was like, what do you want me to tell him? And I was like, tell him we'll take it. Cause with rent being that low, we just cannot pass it up. And I thought it was a really good idea. It's like an hour and 15 minutes from my hometown, which is still kind of a little bit of a drive, but it's not like the end of the world. Uh, we could easily go see somebody for a weekend. Like that would be not a big deal. And I would really like to move to this house, even though it's a little bit of a fixer upper. I mean, I would still like to because the rent's so low <laughs> and Devin knows the guy and it would just be a win-win situation across the board. So I really hope, I really hope that everything works in our favor and eventually uh, Devin's friend can uh, get his tenants out of there because he doesn't like them at all and hopefully cross your fingers for us hopefully we can be moved in before Christmas but who, who really knows I mean it's something that was brought up to my attention last night Devin and I love the idea we are totally on board on the idea it's just a matter of if and maybe and when <laughs> 
I will tell you guys further details when we know further details because right now everything's up in the air. But that is something that was brought to us yesterday and that we're both very excited about. But the girls are sleeping right now, so I'm going to edit some video and jump off here and I will see you guys around dinner time. The girls have been up for a while. I've just been uh, at my crock pot, shredding my chicken and putting it back in the crock pot. So I haven't had the chance to go get them, but I'm gonna go do that now. Hi. What'd you do? Like try to change the DVD out or something? Probably. Hi, Camry. She says, Mommy, I'm ready to get out of here. Get me out. And this is what it all looks like when it's done. Now, when cilantro is actually in season, and it's not, uh, I would put cilantro in there, put some green onion in there. I would add stuff to this, but it's fall. So this is what the chicken enchilada stuff looks like when it's fall. And I've got the girls, and I've got mine, and the cheese is all nice and melted. Yummy. But you guys could totally do this like your own way. Like if you wanted to put it in tortillas, go ahead and do that. If you wanted to eat it with chips, you can go ahead and do that. Just however it is that you want to make it your way, that'd be great. But we're going to eat some dinner. Oh, pregnancy, I hate you. At least right now. Because that's all I've eaten. See? That little tiny bit there. That's all I've eaten, and I'm nauseous. Aww. I just want to eat. Uh, I'm going to take a break and come back to it, I guess, so this nausea passes. That's good stuff. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are sharing very nicely. I don't know if I like that or not, because it's germs, but I mean... You all give kisses to each other anyway. Good stuff. What do you want? <clears throat> I bet I can guess. Book, please. Book, please. Okay. You want me to read to you? Is that what you want? No. No? Okay, you want to read them? No. You no, know, you just want to say no? Oh, okay, you don't have to read that one. You can read Lovable Lily. Attitude. Mommy. <laughs> you want to read it with Mommy? No. Well, all right. I'm Mommy. Oh, that book is Mommy's, yes. Star. Star. Oh, you just let go. She says, nope, not gonna do it. You wanna walk? You're not even gonna try. You're just gonna stand. Oh, you took a step. That's good. Try again. You're not, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Oh, oh, it moved, yay. You're so stiff-legged though. Step at a time, step at a time. You can do it. Oh, Kimberly, don't sit down. You tried. Good two steps. That's a good two steps. <laughs> Say hi. You're still reading over there? All right, I guess that's a yes. Oh, she's not gonna pull herself up. Oh, baby. Oh, that's nice to the baby. Go on. Sometimes she uses this stool to help her pull herself up. Sometimes. 
I guess not today. <laughs> this vlog is already 20 minutes long, so I'm going to go ahead and close it here because the girls are just going to take a bath later on and go to bed. But before I close it, I want to tell you guys that I plan on doing a Q&A vlog. And I plan on making that video on Monday. I will remind you guys in every vlog from now until then. But make sure you leave me those questions down below. If you don't already follow me on social media, I have my links also down below. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for the anatomy scan. It's going to be a really exciting day in the life vlog. And I just can't wait. I'm really, really excited. <laughs> but I'll see you guys then. Bye.